So just to dismantle this and show you how it was put together. Trusty electrical tape. When experimenting, it's a nice way to not have to glue everything down and then be able to take it apart and reuse for a different configuration. So some super sticky electrical tape enables you to do several different types of testing. So there we go. 3D printed track. North, 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 north. And we've seen how that operates. I've got the track. Um, one millimeter wider than the diameter of the uh, magnets so it uh, slides easily and um, 3d printers aren't hugely accurate um, but it's obviously the same they're all the same height so it makes sure the magnetic fields are all down the channel together incidentally this does fire backwards as well as forwards um, obviously i can't do it now i've taken the tape off um, but if you turn it around and push the magnet in the other way it will also fire um, it fires after the last one usually, and that would be attraction first. So the next step, as I said, is to um, introduce aluminium shielding and see whether we can design something that can run on its own. Um, it's either the aluminium shielding using magnets and magnets or one magnet versus steel plates that are gradually getting closer to the magnet potentially on a revolving wheel and then um, introduce a mechanism that moves the magnet away at the last one so it doesn't retain its attraction to break the the gate at the end the barrier at the end and then continues to cycle through so a couple of options for testing i'll be working on those over the next one to two weeks Okay, on this one, uh, testing the theory of whether we have an imbalance system on the left and the right uh, that gradually increases the field moving forward, um, but has the fields overlapping. So, and also oddly numbered. So the first uh, set on the right is 10, followed by eight. And on the left, we have uh, seven followed by eight as well. And then to have a larger set of magnets at the beginning linked to a secondary set of magnets at the end which is smaller so that the secondary set the smaller set as it hits a a, 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 power, a point up here where the field is greater helps to pull this larger set through um, the point that it wants to be held by the magnetic field um, earlier in the earlier in the um, the array um, seemed like a good idea um, however, testing this, it simply doesn't work in any configuration. The pull that we get coming through, so on an attraction basis, at no point apart from there, a couple of centimetres, but it took a lot of effort to push it all the way through to get there, so there's no gain. And again, just pushing through. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Still nothing. Yes, there's a, and again, just that small piece there where it was pushed through. And then obviously at the end, a tiny bit, and then it's held. And then there's nothing to project it forward. If we turn it the other way around, we have a little bit there, a little bit there. Resistance, 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 tiny bit there. Oh, we had. So that's the biggest point where it gets pulled through. And then nothing, it's all resistance here. Still resistance, still resistance. And then it fires at the end. So my theory was to get this working on a linear fashion in an array, if it went through each of these gates and was pulled through by the next, I've also attach this to a smaller set which is half the size at various distances before but obviously as there was only this point here where it's being pulled through 
the rest is all resistance. There's no gain. So there could be a theory that we have this configuration just repeated down. So I might try that next. And if that doesn't work, then what simply will work, and it's the only really option I think, rather than getting a full set of magnets in a, in a revolving sequence all pulling at the same time, um, is to have shielding. So the shielding is down. The shielding is down when the magnet's coming through. When the magnet's here ready to fire at the end, at the end when it's ready to fire, if we go over a lever here that lifts the shield up, then it gets fired, shield comes back down, comes around, gets fired, and so on. Now you could even do a number of these as really their acceleration points or their firing mechanisms where the shielding is lifted by a lever. So I need to investigate um, the shielding um, elements that we can get. I have a look at some and they do reduce the magnetic field down to zero, but that took about eight millimeters of shielding. Um, so it seems that it's feasible. I will just do one more attempt on this using this array here, which had the only point where it was actually being pulled quite a dramatic distance through. It does depend on the resistance before and the resistance after if we're repeating the process. Um, that's it. Thanks for watching.